the speed and development of Terminator-like killer drones capable of using artificial intelligence is causing global concern. The Pentagon says it wants to remove human decision-making from controlling murderous machines to make them more effective. The United States isn't alone in thinking this either, but will nations like India, South Korea, Russia, the UK and China agree to stop developing the technology? We're asking if it's too late to stop the rise of killer machines in this episode of Decoded. Back in 1942, writer Isaac Asimov identified three laws for smart machines in his story, Runaround. The sci-fi commandments were that a robot may not hurt a human being, it must obey the orders given by a human, and finally, a robot must protect its own existence. Asimov's laws became a starting point for ethical artificial intelligence or AI discussions in scientific research until the drone revolution killed them. Technology first deployed by Israel in the 1980s during the Israel-Lebanon war changed modern conflict. It's not only in the hands of many countries who have the capability to overwhelm enemy defenses using autonomous suicide drone swarms. The ethical debate surrounding autonomous drones is deafening and militaries are itching to use them. Why? Well, up to one million drones could synchronize during an attack, so an assault from all directions will overwhelm an enemy. And that raises some serious moral questions. Namely, do killer robots cross a moral threshold when deciding who lives and dies? Where does responsibility lie using them? And how will autonomous robots be used? The United States, through its Army Futures Command and scientists from the DARPA Research Agency recently said human decisions slow down artificial intelligence, which essentially means the automated battle is lost before it begins. It all sounds far-fetched, but it isn't. Check out these autonomous decisions and systems. Not all are designed to kill, but they all do possess autonomous killer tech. Russia wants an army of robots and says it'll deploy them as soon as 2025. It's developing the Fedor robot, while the Udar tank is fully autonomous. Alongside its drone program, the United Kingdom is currently testing two different systems, both designed to carry troops and kit, but with the capability to turn the vehicles into fully autonomous weapons. China is selling fully automated flying drone systems to the Middle East and Africa and is stirring riptides by developing a fleet of autonomous underwater vehicles. While India is going all out to develop airborne drone swarms. So how can future robot wars be stopped? Well, it's up to you to ensure the AI battle is lost before it starts and humanity resists the rise of hunter-killer machines. And that resistance exists, says the campaign to stop killer robots, an NGO established in 2012. They say that so far 30 countries, 4,500 AI experts, the United Nations General Assembly and the EU Parliament and 61% of the public want to ban fully autonomous weapons by retaining human control over targeting and attack decisions, making law the principle of human control over the use of force and to never make fully autonomous weapons. Why? Because to quote fictional soldier Kyle Reese from the original Terminator movie, a killer machine will not stop ever until you are dead. Let us know your thoughts and leave your comments on our YouTube channel. I'm on Twitter at Ali underscore Mustafa.